yeah, Jacob been kind of going off as far as like, um, making a lot of moves. Like, so like the Beyonce situation. Bigger than Beyonce. Beyonce. Besides those two. Then after that, he got the whole um, Rick Ross situation. With, um, you heard about his, um, Rick Ross spent 20 million. Mm hmm. Right here, here we go. Risk check, risk check. Rick Ross shows off bling one of one of one twenty million dollar Jacob Jewel watch. Uh, Rick Ross, this is high piece right here. Rick Ross was no stranger to ice style timepieces, but the latest one is sure to turn heads wherever he goes. Taken into his Instagram stories recently, music mogul shared. Okay, music mogul shared. Oh. Fans FaceTime before you have a gym with you. So this is basically all like promotion. This is like the new way of this yeah, is all commercial. That's all that is. I was about to say that. This is all, he, he didn't pay that. Is he just let you know it he cost that much? Did he? <laughs> twenty million for your watch. He didn't even get credit. Twenty million cards. Twenty million. But he's smart. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is a commercial. We got the FaceTime call. They, you know, they same thing in the, in the visual art world. I buy a uh, shelter. Shit, the ferry. This is the guy who did the um, Obama piece with the red and blue. Yeah, I like that one. This is a prank. This is a how many? Oh, this is a lot. This is four hundred and fifty pieces right here. So one four hundred fifty. Yeah. That's a little less. That Marcus Jason over there, which is what I use for this yeah. book cover. That's so, a one of eight. Okay. So, yeah, that's eight hundred dollars right there. Shout out to my brother Marcus Jason. We gonna be in Miami this this, this year too. Um, so what they do is though, they, they tell you the price publicly if I buy a Bastiat or whatever piece to kind of promote what it is, but under the table, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it ain't, it ain't, cause they, yeah, they work like, you got, you got a commercial on his social media. <clears throat> so you pay, like, I right, charge 20 million, I'm going to charge you 5 million for me to, mm -hmm. you know, cause if you really want to do it, you do it privately and like, I don't know if I know I bought it or how much or whatever, but. It's just for us to kind of look, you know, whatever, whatever. But, um, I'm going to give my opinion. Jacob the Jeweler, the neck watch <laughs> and the wrist watch. To be honest, I don't, to me, I can't think of nobody because I love, I love keeping a culture. And he does have a culture with hip hop community. I don't know nobody. That was bigger, uh, bigger than that, or uh, connected more like with hip hop. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, I don't get that. Like I said, you know, I'm, like my vibe is like, I believe he's gonna be here for a long time. But are you gonna? You know what I'm saying? Is he gonna be like Von Dutch? Of, <laughs> of you know what I'm saying? I think, I think that's what I don't want to describe that, but I think that's what he is now. Cause oh. we got we got people that's that that. that Sell themselves through our Instagram, like um, Jewelry Unlimited, uh, Icebox, and like I said, Aviani. And you got uh, another guy that I can't remember, right? Benny the Jeweler. But those dudes, they are different. Though. Look, yeah. those are like jewelry stores mm -hmm. that sell jewelry. Mm -hmm. Jacob and Co. Mm -hmm. is a brand. Okay. So you, Rolex, AP, yeah. Richard Milley, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. It's, those are brands, yeah. Aviani and whatever, whatever. Okay. Their store, yeah. like they make, they make like I think Buster Cash was best. Yeah, it doesn't really say Aviani. Like it's yeah. not like Aviani Keeks. It's like yeah. it's a it's a Cuban link. And, and he, like it's, here, is this? No, nah, it is actually. It, oh, it's it, they, actually, actually like, like if it's Cuban, it really said Aviani on the back of it. Oh, where? If, if you got a custom pen, it said Aviani behind it. Okay, they may have their name and stuff, but yeah, I, it, like, it, it ain't. Up, it ain't. It it's ain't, not there. It's it, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. It's like, a, like I said, it's, it's levels to it. I think Jacob is in, he's in that, in, he's like in between. Like yeah. he's trying to get, cause he's, he's, he's trying to get back where he was. Yeah, he's trying to get, get back where he was, but he's trying to get. I think we we never been, cause he started out saying mm -hmm. just like the Avion, like the same kind of thing. Yeah. Rainbow store. Okay. Once the rappers got, you know what I'm saying? Money they gave him the name. Yeah. Like, the name means something. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But um, then he had then he has his own watch, which is his own yeah, his own personal watch. See what I'm saying? It ain't just like the 
They said, if, if, I, if I give you a certain shit, like, you don't own that chain. Like, you kind of do, but it ain't like, people know a Jacob watch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People know a Rolex watch. Like, um, but I still think he never got, I'm not sure if it's like an actual, like, he didn't get into the, the Illuminati of watches. Like, you know, he had that, that circle where it's like, I think they call it the Geneva Convention. I'm not sure what it is, but that Swiss culture of where you got the AP, mm -hmm. which, like, it's only a few of them that's on that level. You know what I'm saying? Hublot, things like that. Because also, I think, what it, um, this, is what it, this is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Those watch companies you talking about? Yeah. Are just watch companies. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a really jeweler. jeweler. Yeah. He's really a jeweler who's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Get into the watch. Yeah. He's a jeweler. Yeah. Avian is a jeweler. Yeah. Rolex is a watch company. Yeah. AP is a watch company. Yeah. Not Cartier. They're a jeweler. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Cartier and Jeweler watch company. I believe they did. I think they got it's first. They got both. They got both. But. I know they watch the television. Yeah, they, 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 I think they signed to LVMH. Um, the other one, no, they, it's like LVMH is number one, mm -hmm. but then there's another dude, I don't know the company, so the top two, and I think they were done. Um, but yeah, so, um, I don't think it's a goal for Jacob the Jeweler, I ain't gonna lie, but I don't know who is it though. Even the, I feel like even the advertisers is wrong to say. Nigga, <laughs> Rick Ross is not somebody that people go like, right, Rick Ross is not that watch, I'm going to go get that. Because even the, even the rap community be looking down on Ross sometimes, like, uh, and then the believe that he spent 20 million on the watch is kind of a bad way to really try to sell other people. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he do it. And then they go like, nah, I'm not that dumb, nigga. You know what's Okay, but look, 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 look at this thing. Rick Ross spent 20 million on a piece of on the watch. Mm -hmm. Rick Ross fan base is probably not too many niggas with $20 million. Exactly. Or even people, and, and the people who do have $20 million, they not spend $20 million. So it's kind of hard. So is that, to, so you think that's the wrong move? I think it was probably a wrong move because Rick Ross is not selling to people that want to spend any money. They're not like, all right, I'm here with Ross did it. All right, let me go get this dude $500 for a watch. Uh, uh, it's not that, you know? He's not that influential to do that. Maybe if he has somebody like, Lil Uzi, you know, that, that people want to be like Lil Uzi. But these are, they, they, like, they, I don't think they're fan base, like, unless they, they counselors is full of college jitters, like, who they said, like, I think it was the wrong fan base. Yeah, that, that definitely Rick Rose, but Rick Rose, yeah. Well, I guess it's promotion. Yeah. It's not so much selling directly, it's more like, when he gets it, people are going to hear about it. He's trying to make people compete. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to have somebody come either top that 20 mil and do it over Overwatch, or he's just trying to collect money to the point where it's like, all right, people want to support Jacob the Jeweler again because this dude spent 20 million on it. So let me go and, and go mess with that. But it's it's, it's, it's kind of hard to sell the people that got a brain. <laughs> that got a brain. That's crazy. All right, let's, let's keep it on watch. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it on watch. Hublot.